In this question, we're asked to identify the molecularity of each elementary reaction in the table below. An elementary reaction is a reaction that, occur, that occurs in one step as shown. So in this, question, in this particular reaction, it says two NOs interact with 1O2 and directly form two NO2s, which means that the, the two NOs and the O2 must all collide at the exact same time in order for this reaction to occur. Although these reactions are not impossible, they're unlikely because you have to have three things colliding all at the same time. I should also note that many reactions you've seen in this course are not elementary reactions, which means they don't occur necessarily in one step. And often if you have um, multiple reactants, more than two, um, these reactions are occurring in multiple steps, so each individual step is only occurring um, with a collision between two molecules or, a mole or one molecule and a molecule is falling apart or whatever the case may be. Um, but it's fairly rare, just because it's statistically not likely, that these three molecules will all collide together at the same time um, for these types of reactions to occur. As far as solving the, this problem, since these are elementary reactions, you literally just have to count how many reactants there are. So there's two NOs, that's two, plus one O2, that's three. If there's three things, it's term molecular. Here, you have one ICL and one H2. That's two things, bimolecular. These are very common because then these two things can collide together and go on to form products. And here, we just have one thing falling apart. This is also quite common. So this is called unimolecular because we only have one thing. So answering this question is very simple. You just count how many reactants there are. One, two, three, one, two, and one. And then you just pick the, the uh, appropriate uni, bi, ter, or quadromolecular. quadromolecular um, and that's how you answer the question. However, what's important is that these are elementary reactions. You can't do this necessarily if they're not elementary reactions. Um, so essentially the answer would be cannot de be determined if this was not an elementary reaction.